Thanks for joining us for On Call for All Kids. Today we'll be talking about food allergies. We'll discuss how common food allergies are currently, symptoms of an allergic reaction and how it differs from anaphylaxis, and what parents should do if they suspect an allergic reaction in their child. I'm joined by Dr. Panita Sriarun. She's the medical director of the Food Allergy Clinic at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Great to see you, Dr. Sriarun. Thanks for being here. Hi, Ashley. Glad to be here. So we know that May 9th through the 15th is Food Allergy Awareness Week, which is great. So this is very timely. Let's talk about what is the current food allergy situation? Well, food allergy situation is in the rise. We know that roughly one in 13 children have food allergies, and we don't know why. And can you imagine in the classroom of like 25, 26 kids, there are two kids with food allergies, with any kind of food allergies. What is an allergic reaction and what are some of those symptoms that you typically see with it? Allergic symptoms are because the body mistakenly recognized the routine common allergens that we encounter every single day as a threat. So the body releases its chemical, usually is known as histamine and others. And these histamines and we call them cytokines, cause reactions. And they are known as high swelling. And usually they occur on the face first and then neck, uh, and usually um, the rashes all over the body. Sometimes it will involve breathing, cough, uh, throat closing, shortness of breath, or GI symptoms too. And so what are some of the most common things that kids react to? Right, so the common things that kids react to are um, food, medications, or insect venoms. So among all of these, foods are the most common because we eat foods every single day, right? So uh, of the foods, the top ones, we used to call them top eight, but now we know they're top nine culprits in the United States. Um, these are milk, egg, wheat, soy, peanut, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, and a new kid on the block, which is sesame. So many of us have heard of anaphylaxis. Is that different from an allergic reaction? Anaphylaxis is referred to like a serious, life-threatening allergic reaction. So in layman's term, uh, people think of anaphylaxis as severe, very severe reactions. And in the past, we try to educate parents and patients that you have to have two system involvement. For example, skin involvement or respiratory involvement or skin and gastrointestinal. But now we know that if we wait until two systems occur, it might be too late. So when you recognize an allergic reaction, even though it's just one system, and usually it's just rashes or itchiness and followed by swelling, and it becoming diffusely, even though it's just one system, but it's spreading acutely. Well, we treat that. We don't call it anaphylaxis, but we treat the same way with epinephrine. Are allergic reactions in children different from an older kid or even an adult? Well, they are the same. However, young kids can really talk and describe their feelings well. So they might have changes in demeanor. For example, for young kids, they might just appear quieter. They might refuse the food, meaning you just enjoy a feeding. Uh, you try banana or you try peanut for the first time and the kid is enjoying it. And then suddenly they just turn their face away. They would just refuse it or thrusting it out or even spitting it out. Uh, so it could be that. And sometimes for older kids that they can talk, they may say something along the line of like, my lips are big or my tongue hurts or my throat is itchy. If parents do suspect that their child is having an allergic reaction, what should they do? Well, for families that the child does not have any known food allergies, it will be very hard because you're not sure if it's a reaction or not, and you might not have emergency medication known as epinephrine. So in that case, you will need to seek medical attention immediately. What you can do in the meantime is to stop giving that food to the child and wipe the area, especially the mouth, the lips, uh, and the hands, including your own hands. For kids who already have a known diagnosis of food allergies, then you might proceed with the steps. If, again, the symptoms are serious, 
serious means it might be hives only and no other symptoms but if hives are spreading that to us is beginning to be serious then you want to treat right away with epinephrine without waiting all right, Dr. Sriroon, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us all about food allergies during Food Allergy Awareness Week. Thank you, Ashley. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can also visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. You'll find a lot of other timely topics in pediatric healthcare and other great resources for your family. We'll see you next week.